Welcome to tonight's presidential debate in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm Chris Wallace, and it used to be an honor to moderate these things. Tonight's event should go smoothly as long as the candidates resist the urge to constantly interrupt. Excuse me, but what has Joe Biden done in 47 years? In just 47 months, I've made this country completely unrecognizable. Right now, this country is dog shit, but I can make it better, like one of them cute little bunny turds. Mr. President, do you believe your response to the coronavirus pandemic has been adequate? Look, we've got 200,000 dead, which is way less than I would have predicted back in January when I knew it was coming but didn't say anything. Way back in January, I would have delivered this clear message to the American people. Watch out, buckos! We got a bug headed our way, so hunker down to the root cellar with your best gal till Fauci says, ta-da! If you'd have been president, two million people would have died, we would have lost the space race, and Kerry Strug wouldn't have landed her Olympic gold winning ball. Moving on. No, the next, no, the I'm next still talking. La, 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 Mr. La, la, Will you shut up, man? Usually when I'm this bewildered, I figure it's me losing cognitive function. Mr. President, are you willing to condemn white supremacist groups and tell them to stand down? How can I say this in the least horrifying way possible? Stand back and stand by. I mean, await my instructions. I mean, ammo's on sale. I mean, our righteous war is nigh. You know what? I'm just going to give you both the chance to shout incoherently for the next 10 seconds. Pack the cars, President! Baby Cody, Bitch 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 very good. Uh, Mr. President, how do you respond to the New York Times report that you've paid virtually no income tax over the last decade? At least I didn't get my idiot kid a job, even though they have no expertise in anything. You tell him, Daddy! Do you both agree to accept the results of the election? The fact that you're even asking me that question makes me feel like I've got options. Whatever I do, it's on you, Chrissy. Fair's fair! Winner gives a loser a consolation neck rub! Could I just take a moment to address the folks at home? Actually, no, we're out of America, time. honey, I have a confession. The only reason I asked to go steady as your president was because I was busted ass broke. But over the last four years, I've changed. I've fallen madly in love with you and your bewitching emoluments. So what do you say? Will you take me back and bail me out of my $421 million debt? Please, you gotta help me. I'm drowning. <laughs> yeah, Trumpy, what's good? Oh, hi, hey. Hey, Putin, uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Relax, what are they going to do, impeach you again? So look, I'm here to collect payment for all that off-the-books ferry money. You know what, just take Air Force One. It's parked out back. All right, see you in two weeks for the next installment. And hey, stop talking over Biden. It sounds like you're projecting your feelings of guilt onto him in a desperate attempt to avoid introspection. I'm not a typical voter, but uh, I, I was turned off. That's all the time we have. I'm Chris Wallace, and I can't tell you who to vote for, but... Come on.